Well, Division I bowlers are just beginning their postseason this weekend. D2 bowlers are trying to roll their way to Columbus and next weekend's state meet. The Coldwater Cavs won the sectional last week in Minster, and today they're in Rossford, where the top three teams and the top three individuals not on an advancing team move on. So packed with bowlers hoping to make their way to Columbus. Patrick Henry's Kenny Nichols gets things started with a strike. Nice roll, and they all fall down. On the lane over, it's Joe Roof from Ottawa Glendorf, and he follows suit. Good looking ball, and hope he likes strikes because there's a bunch more to follow. St. Henry's Michael Stout. Textbook form as his ball swings right into the pocket. T Bird's hoping to stay hot on the lanes. James Riepenhoff, the state golfer, a strike to close out his 10th frame. He's advancing on as an individual. Hope you're a fan of Coldwater's Corey Whitaker as well. He was a sectional champ, and there's another strike for the Cavs. Individuals competing as well. St. Mary's Austin Cook. Two-handed approach working perfectly. He'll be in Columbus competing as an individual. Check this out. Van Wert's Gabe Rollins. Looks like a good ball. The 7 and the 10 kick down at the last second. So it's a strike. A couple of southpaws now. New Bremen's Caleb Alley. Perfect roll. That's how it's done. Then Marion Locals, Troy Brueggemann. Of course, they're all going to fall. Nice strike for the Flyer. Taking a look at the team results, we see Coldwater is the district tramp. They'll be at State, Napoleon, and Eastwood also advancing. And mentioned Riepenhoff and Cook advancing as individuals.